and today we're doing something that we've never before done on our boat and that's we're going to some rapids. We took a shortcut. <laughs> and what we're worried about is rocks. Woo! Oh, cool. Here are the rapids. And uh, there's no way we're getting up here. Today will be remembered as the day with the most epic dinghy ride. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good afternoon from the Bustard Islands here on the Georgian Bay. We took all day yesterday to chill, put up the hammock for the first time, did a lot of reading, there's absolutely zero cell service here, and it was nice. Today we are kind of like planet by ear with the weather, and it looks like, we kind of just poked out, it looks like uh, the weather's looking good, so we're gonna vlog today. Do you want me to get out so it's less weight? No, it's, it's not the weight, it's just the uh, footing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this though. She's right oh, it's there. Oh, she's way too precious. <laughs> she's like, I'm tired of this shit, Dad. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I'm in the boat paddling, pushing us off some rocks. Elliot is pulling us, <laughs> and Ollie's just swimming around looking for rocks. <laughs> and now she's coming. We're oh, coming shit. for you, Ollie. Hi, right, Ollie. All right, welcome aboard, come on. Come here. Come on, you're okay. Come on, you got it, come on. Oh boy, gotta get the rock. Oh! <laughs> yeah, but you know what? She goes after every single rock, so I have to uh, applaud her on that one. Alright, we'll just pick her up along the way. <laughs> She's still going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ollie, get the rock. how was the rock adventure? Did you get them all? Yes, great job. Great job. Everywhere you look here in the Georgian Bay is so stunning. Different rock croppings, different terrains, different trees, different birds. And today we're doing something that we've never before done on our boat, and that's we're going to some rapids. Thank you. 
have just a short cruise today, only an hour, basically about seven nautical miles, going to Bad River. And um, we took a shortcut. <laughs> and so now we are going slow because we, you know, a lot of the shortcuts here in the Georgian Bay, you leave the channel, which is always a little bit dicey, and then it's like miles and miles of nothing. And then you enter the channel again, which is a little bit dicey. So the good thing is that the water is so clear that you can really see it. Uh, the bad thing is that it's a little bit windy today, um, so it's harder to see. But we're going nice and slow, you know? No other way to do it. And what we're, we're worried about is rocks. So we don't want to hit a rock, which would be like the entire ground formation are just these like, it's like rolling hills, but the entire hill is made out of rock. So it's just like rolling rocks underneath us. And we don't want to hit a rock because if we hit a rock, that might crack our hole, which will Allow not be good. Allow water in. Allow water in. Outside yeah, we boat. want water out the boat, not in the boat. That's not and a good thing. Or it can hit your propeller, and then it'll ding a blade on your propeller. And um, yeah, but you know, I don't like thinking about that. Yeah, I see those out there. We were giants. We were free. So far the rock throughout the Georgian Bay has been this like gray, light, light to medium gray color. And it has like a few variations in that color, but now as we've gotten up to this part, it's beginning to get these like accents of pink in it. And it's really cool to see because it's something that we haven't seen before, but it's just, it's so different. And I've like in through reading some of the guidebooks, I've seen that we should be expecting more and more pink rock, which is really neat. I do wonder what makes it pink over like the, the gray that we've seen so far. If you know, let us know in the comments below. And we would Google it, but we have like zero service. We've had zero service for days, which has actually been really nice. But at the same point, like it's also been hard. Um, yeah, we can barely get the weather, which is vital. Like that's the one thing that I really, 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 really need. So pros and cons. Do the honors? Sure. <sighs> this is a nice spot. And to go down some rapids in our dinghy. That's a first. That'll be a first. It has been really fun putting Fred back in the water after like a month or two of just really not using him that much. And it's kind of funny seeing all of the local boats around the area because they're kind of, there's a very similar type of build. Like they're a go fast power boat, maybe like 30 feet long, and then on the back of them is a dinghy that's like half as big as the power boat. <laughs> because it seems like what they do is they take the, their, their fast boat to get to the anchorage. That's where they sleep, they eat, and they, um, you know, do the other things. Go to, their, go to the bathroom. <laughs> they go to the bathroom. Uh, and then they use their massive dinghy to really explore. And you could really stay in these anchorages for weeks and not explore at all. Uh, which is just so neat and fun and unlike anywhere else you've been on the loop. This is some of the like seaweed or seagrass that we're kind of seeing in the water. It's kind of cool. It's very soft and it feels almost like a fern almost the way it like um, spreads out. We got some visitors. <laughs> They're not 
not pooping at all. Oh my gosh. All right, Ollie, down in front. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Gosh. We found the rapids. <laughs> they really are rapids. How I don't cool. think we could go up that. There's <laughs> no way we could go up that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there's supposed to be a route around it. I don't know. We which, have no charts. For which this. boats like ours with low horsepower. Yeah. Can. If you have like a 10 horsepower motor, you can get through it, basically, is what people say. Spread my wings and let go. Something stirring in my soul I feel it again, feel it again Feel it again, feel it again Unlock the cash It's kind of surreal right now because we keep talking about like, I can't believe we're here right now, like of all places, that we are right here in this place, looking around. It's just kind of, it's wild, it's so cool. Um, the scenery is just breathtaking. Here are the rapids, and uh, there's no way we're getting up here. So I think what we are going to do is what uh, is go try to go around and then go down. Oh my gosh. That's what I said. I was too in shock. That, did you? I was in shock. These rapids are incredible. We uh, are a little hesitant to take our own, one and only method of transportation down it uh, in lieu of hitting a rock and uh, you know, and that being the death of Fred because we love Fred. We want him to stay with us for many, many more miles. And, uh, but we're gonna check out the other side and uh, see if that's navigable by dinghy. And what we'll have to do if we go through is we'll go around the, the far end and then come down. Otherwise, we might just bring out some, uh, some pool floaties or paddle boards or something and go down in them. That was probably my most fun dinghy exploration yet. Um, we did not go down the rapids, but we'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, I think we are gonna stay here another day and maybe take some paddle boards or our floaties down there and try it, try it then. But for now, we're gonna go back to see Mike and Beth on their boat, Amy and Marie, which is a ranger tug, for some sundowners. That ends our day for today. I think looking back on it, today's today will be remembered as the day with the most epic dinghy rides. From this morning with Ollie in the rocks to this afternoon with the rapids, it was just an awesome dinghy adventure day. We hope you enjoyed following along on our journey around America's Great Loop, and we'll see you tomorrow whenever we 
go visit the rapids again. Thanks for watching. Dolly's in my shot. I see rocks, mom. Let me hit him. This is what it's like to have a fast dinghy. Yeah. <laughs>